Greetings! In this video I'm going to show you how to use the restrict access to restrict activities or course sections by completion of another activity, date, and time. First navigate to your course and turn editing on with the green button on the top left hand corner. To restrict access to a section, click on the section you wish to restrict access to and click the topmost edit button on the right before seeing the rest of the tabs and click edit section. Scroll to the bottom to where you see restrict access and select add restriction. Say we want this to open up on the third week of the course and this could be done automatically by choosing date. We'll pick roughly a third week of the course to open up on October 17th 2022 at 0 o'clock in the morning or 12 a.m. and save changes. This will mean that a student will not be able to see this section of the course until this date. Alternatively, they can only see it until this date if you were restricting an item to be seen only until maybe a quiz was being given or until a certain time frame when the course is done with that information. You can also select must match the following or must not match the following. Save changes will save them as well. Last note, if you click the eyeball, students will not see that this is restricted and not see the restrict information of this date. They will not see the information at all for week three. It will just be hidden. Unchecking it will show that it is restricted. Save changes. And now you can see it is restricted and available from October 17, 2022. In any case for a section, students won't be able to see it till the stated date. To do this to an activity, say an assignment, click Edit and Edit Settings and scroll to the bottom and select Restrict Access. Restrict Access can be found in any activity or resource within eClass. Click on Add Restriction. You can set it to be another completion item in the course by choosing Activity Completion and then selecting another item they would have to complete before this. Alternatively, if you have all of your items that way, you can just click Previous Item with Activity Completion and it will automatically choose that one. You can also add a date and time to this as well. A grade they must have in the course to get this far, so say if it's an extra credit item you're offering, a group, you'll be able to restrict this for a specific group. If students have chosen groups for an assignment, they will see this submission versus another submission. User profile, if this is only to be used for one student, a level for the level up block, and a restriction set that we will go into at a later time. Setting this, you can set multiple of at a time. So you can also choose a date in here as well. You can leave these here so the students will be able to see what they need to accomplish before seeing this activity. Or if you wish to keep this hidden until an activity is completed, you can uncheck these so they are crossed out and students will not be able to see this activity until these conditions are met. Once you save and return to course, that information will be shown here to the students and to you as well so that they can see that they have to complete something before gaining access to this material. Please note that anytime you use restrict access, the hide permission is a higher level permission than the restrict access and will negate the restrict access. Meaning that if a section is set to hidden, it will not be shown after the date that you show, it, you will have to toggle the hidden section to be shown by yourself. Same thing for an assignment. If it is hidden, students will not be able to gain access to it regardless of the settings you have changed here. Thank you for watching.